What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using a Pokemon that I haven't used in over a year. We got ourselves a Quackwaval team. Now, when it comes to Quackwaval, this Pokemon was actually viable in ranked battles when this game first came out. But with the addition to Restricted Pokemon, Legends of Ruins, Paradox Pokemon, this Pokemon really fell off. But now, it's Regulation G time, and I would love to let it get some redemption in here and hopefully grab some wins for you guys. But let's talk about Quackwaball a little bit more. This one's rocking Moxie as its ability, which is a great ability, giving you a plus one attack boost every time you pick up a KO, and it has the Focus Sash as its item. Furthermore, it can set up a physical attack boost with Sword Stance. It's got Aqua Step for Stab and a Speed Boost, and then we got Close Combat and Protect. So really like Quackwaball's moveset. Cannot wait to use it. Hopefully just get thriving out with this Pokemon. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex with that spell tag and the as one ability. It is rocking the Fairy Terra with Astro Barrage, Nasty Pot for that special attack boost, Drain and Kiss, and Protect as its final move. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are just solid Pokemon in general. We got the Indeedee and Arm Rouge combo for big time damage and for Trick Room. We got Tornadas for weather control and speed control. And last but not least, we got Rock Ogre Pot, who I've been seeing a lot in Regulation G. And for good reason, this Pokemon hits like a truck. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Quackwaval in Regulation G. Going up against a Sun Squad here in match number one, they got Chlorophyll Venusaur. They also have Karide on the set to Sun. Furthermore, if I had to guess this Tornadus, it's definitely rocking sunny day for weather control. Now, our only way of weather control is going to be our Tornadus. So do I want to lead it? Do I not want to lead it? How do I want to play this one? They also got Ogre Pond. They got Flutter Mane. They also have Urshfu. Not going to lie, Calyrex? they will be pretty good here. Do I lead Tornadus Calyrex? That could be in our best interest. I think I like that. I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to go Tornadus here. We're going to bring Quackleball in the back end. And last but not least, either Ndidi or Ogre Pond. And looking at this, we might want to just go Ogre Pond. I mean, Ndidi could be good for support. But I think having this extra attacker in the back end is going to be great. Unless Armour has Trick Room. You have Trick Room on you? You don't. You do have Wide Growth, though. You do have Wide Guard. I would love to just pop a Trick Room with this Pokemon, but I kind of like the Wide Guard here. But now we're going to go in with Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Just such a strong Pokemon. Plus, if we get this Tailwind set up, we can get cooking with Tailwind. Just outspeed him. Pretty much do big time damage from there. So we're leading our restricted Pokemon next to our top tier range slash speed Tailwind Center, whatever you want to call it. And we'll look to get after the Sun Team. So it's pretty much going to be a Weather War. Let's see who they lead. Crydon? Now it's going to be Tornadus and Urshfu. So Water Urshfu comes out here. You could pop a Rain Dance if you would like. You could definitely pop a Rain Dance. I think we just go into Tailwind into Draining Kiss. Or do we just throw an Astro Barrage with Spell Tag? I think we just throw Astro Barrage with Spell Tag out here. I could honestly go into an Nasty Pot here, but I just think Astro Barrage and going into a Tailwind could be good. Unless you're the fastest on the field, I could maybe just taunt him. But you're not. You're not that fast of a Tornadus. So I think just going into a Tailwind this turn is in your best interest instead of going after a Taunt. So we'll see a Terra pop out here, turn one from their Urshu. Now I'm kind of hoping this Urshu isn't Choice Scarf. Because if it is, then I can say bye bye to my Calyrex. That could be a little annoying. But if I can get off this Astro Barge, that is some big time damage for us, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love. So we'll see a Tailwind pop out from him. We will see a Tailwind pop out from me. And again, we're really hoping no Choice Scarf comes out here because then my Calyrex should outspeed. I get off some big time damage. Which would be lovely. And it is choice. It really hurts the soul. Can he soak this Calyrex? You're not. That really hurts the soul. Of course you're choice. Every time I say something I don't want to happen, the opposite just happens. So now they're sitting here, they can pop the rain, and they can really just get dominated with the search field. So my Calyrex drops out here super easily due to a choice scarf I hate. hate a good old choice scarf. I hate choice scarf. So it could go into you. I mean, I don't want to throw Aslice into Rock. It could go into Quackle Ball, but really, what are you going to do, Quackle Ball? What could Aqua Step look to pick up some damage here? Yeah, you know, we're going to go into Quackle Ball here. Quackle Ball coming out here. So he's going to Surgeon Strikes my, my Tornado slot. We already know that's happening. We already know that's going to happen. I'm going to look to get a Speed Boost here. I could Terra Flying, but that's really not going to do much. So I'm just going to go into Oblique Wind Storm. And there's a certain strike. So you're going after Quackle Ball for some reason? No, I, I knew this was happening. And you can honestly soak this. You can soak this. But I mean, if they're going for Bleak Wind Storm, that's a little tough move. Maybe I should have Terra Steeled or Quackle Ball. Probably should have Terra Steeled or Quackle Ball. He goes for a Hurricane. And do we dodge that? 
We do dodge it. That's big. That puts us in this match. Aqua Step gonna fly here. We do get a plus one speed boost, which is massive. I'm pretty sure this will make us outspeed this Urshfu, which is pretty big. Liquid Storm's gonna fly, and who's dodging it? Are both of you guys dodging it? That does me dirty now. Now that does me dirty. Now that does me dirty. Now that does me so dirty. What is my play here? I'm gonna Terra Steel. I'm gonna go for Aqua Step. I'm gonna finish you off. And if I can. Oh, man. Hmm. Because what I wanna do here is pick up the KO onto to Tornadus, get that attack boost, and then maybe just one shot this Urshfu while we can outspeed it. That's really my plan here. And just sacrifice this Tornadus. We're gonna need Quackle Ball to pretty much sweep out here. That's really our only way. That's really our only way. Maybe I should have swapped Tornadus because they probably have the Sun Squad in the back end with this one. But I think Quackle Ball can get after it, especially with all these Moxie boosts. Get it, Quackle Ball. Nice little Steel Terra. Quackle Ball's not playing around. You're still outspeeding me, which is crazy. You're just gonna take out the Tornadus, which is fine. You're still outspeeding me. This Choice Scarf is just going crazy. This Choice Scarf is going crazy. We go for another Aqua Step. I don't know why we Terrasalize. We kind of didn't have to yet. But I still like this Terra. I still like this Terra. So now we get a plus one boost in speed. We get a plus one in attack due to Moxie. We're going to be plus two speed, plus one attack. So I'm hoping I can now just close combat and get rid of this, uh... Get rid of this Urshfu, right? Being plus one. Pretty big for us. Let's see who they throw out here. Venusaur maybe? Coridon? It's going to be Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond comes out here. Neither of us have Terra. Oh, man. How do I even play this one? I have to close combat somebody. I could protect you. And maybe just Horn Leech? No, because you're going to go... I should have saved my Terra. I got to close combat somebody. And I feel like it's got to be Urshfu. I feel like we have to take out Urshfu. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, we are just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel and look to KO Lindu. Hopefully my Ogre Pond can outspeed. I could honestly just go and follow me here. Which might be a better play for us. But I think you outspeed that Ogre Pond. You're a fast Ogre Pond. You are killing it. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're just going to attack here. We're just going to attack instead of going in to follow me. So Close Combat's going to fly here. Can this KO Urshfu? It does. Quack Pool Ball picking up KO. I still have Focus Ash, which is good news too. I still have Focus Ash. I still have Focus Ash. And honestly, Quack Pool Ball being an absolute unit here. An absolute unit. I do get a Mox Boost and plus two on attack. I still have Focus Ash if you do outspeed. And you do outspeed. Kind of upset. Maybe I should have went for the follow me. But Focus Ash is definitely going to help us out tremendously. You get a crit, but still, that was bringing us to Focus Ash regardless. So Quack Pool Ball, Focus Ash is up. He came to play today. Ivy Cudgel going to fly on my own. This should KO you. It does. And now we're sitting in a rather decent position, right? Because if the last Pokemon's Crydon, I can just follow me this shot. I know I outspeed Crydon, and I know he doesn't have first-start priority. So I can follow me this shot, get off close combat, and then go for another close combat if I want to. Oh, boy, yo. This, this will be a solid start. It's going to be Fluttermane, actually. Now, Fluttermane's scaring me a little bit. Fluttermane makes me just want to attack. So I'm just going to Aqua Step Fluttermane. No... No Crydon's weird. And instead of a, a, a follow me this turn, because Fluttermane does have Dazzling Gleam, we're going to have to double down into it and just go into Ivy Cudgel and Aqua Step. And honestly, Aqua Step might just KO. He's plus two. Black Ball clutching up. Black Ball clutching up. This Pokemon is actually ridiculous. We, we lost our Calyrex in like the first turn. Then Black Ball just clutched up and picked up a bunch of KOs. We love it. We're sitting 1-0 with this team. Someone tell me why we stopped using Quack Wall. Because that first match perfectly showcased the power of this Pokemon. Moxie boosting its attack. Aqua Step boosting its speed. We were eventually able to outspeed the Urshfu. Get after that. One shot it. And then use our Focus Ash to our advantage. Get rid of the rest of their team. But Quack Ball killing it so far. Hopping into our second match. We're going up against more of a standard regulation G team. With Shadow Rider Calyrex. With Urshfu, Rollaboom, Incineroar, Tornadus, and Indeedy. So this is just like a staple meta squad right here. How are we going to get after it? How should we play it? We could go into our Tornadus, pop the Talon if we want to. We could go into the Armor Rouge, which honestly isn't too bad. But if they lead Shadow Rider Calyx, Armor Rouge will not take too kindly to that. We would be pretty much forced to Tarasalize or even just go into a Wide Guard. I could do that. I could go here and here. Yeah, I think I am going to do that because that stops a lot of different things. So I'm going to go into both of them. Um, I could bring Shadow Rider Calyx as a late game Pokemon. Your speed's rather high. Your speed is rather high. Hmm. 
I like this though. I, I like going into you and then having Quackle Ball on the back end. That's gonna be my play. So what I think they're gonna do here is maybe go Calyrex Tornadus. If they pop Tailwind, they pop Tailwind, whatever. If they, if they go into Calyrex, we're pretty much forced to go for Wide Guard to stop Astro Barrage. And if we could stop Astro Barrage, we get off that Trick Room pretty freely and have Armors just start going from there, right? Helping Hand, Expanding Force, really getting after it. But they're going to lead Incineroar and Urshifu. Okay, so Incineroar, Urshifu come out here. They can't fake me out, which is good news. Um, I might be just, just, be, just be forced to Terrasilize our, our NDD. But I wonder what they're going to do here. I'm kind of scared. Could go Grass Terra. I could just go Grass Terra with Arm Rouge, which I think is in our best interest. Just go Grass Terra. And then pop a Scorching Sands in this slot. I just think we got to get off some damage onto Incineroar. Or I can just rip up into Urshifu here. Which might be better for us. It might be better for us. Yeah, we got to go Grass Terror. Let's just try to get rid of Urshifu here. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to try to pop a Trick Room. I'm going to try to pop the Trick Room. So Grass Terror onto the Armors. Really didn't want them leading Incineroar. I really want that Calyrex to fly out here. Would have been in our best interest. But now... I think we can still make up ground for this lead. Because honestly, they got a better lead than us right now. They have a better lead than us. So he's going to end up going for certain Strikes. Good read on our end to go into that Grass Terra. You're probably going for a knockoff, but I think Indeedee should be able to soak a knockoff. You could be going for Party Shot too, but again, I think you're going for knockoff. And Indeedee should be able to soak it. And if Indeedee soaks it, then we get off Trick Room. We get off some nice damage onto Urshfu. Urshfu should die out to this, unless you're stashed. Let's see. I guess we're going to find out here, right? Cool. Gone. Dead. Get it on out of here. Not dealing with it. So I'll take that trade all day. I will take that trade all day. Going for a knockoff here. Yep, you should soak Ndidi all day long. And now I get off Trick Room. So great terror on our end. Great Trick Room. Great expanded force. Incineroar's on the field. We're going to have to deal with that. We do have Quack with all late game to kind of deal with that. But let's use our Trick Room turns wisely here because we have two very fast Pokemon in the back end. All right. Hmm. Let's see who they go into. Could be Calyrex. It is going to be Calyrex. And honestly, I could just expand and force this Pokemon down, right? But you might just protect it. That's that, that that's my problem. Because I could go for Wide Guard here and just block the shots. As much as I want to go for Expand and Force, um, hmm, I could go Heat Wave. Heat Wave follow me wouldn't be bad, but I mean Calyrex can just dump on me at that point. Um, huh. I think we honestly just wide guard here. And we follow me and we just sacrifice our Ndidi. I think we sacrifice Ndidi here. I really do. I really feel like we, we need to sacrifice Ndidi here. So I'm going to hope that they're going for Astro Barrage and a Flare Blitz and Flare Blitz should be able to KO Ndidi, right? That's what I believe in. We're looking just to sacrifice our Ndidi here, and they're going to go for knockoff and get rid of Ndidi. Cool. That, that works fine. And you got to be going for an Ash Rush. You have got to be You could be going for Expanded Force, but that would still be double hitting move. Yep, cool. All right. So we blocked that. We sacrifice our Ndidi. We can now get out our Quackle Ball, which is a pretty solid Pokemon. We got Focus Ash on him. Um, and you still have Terra. Or I could just go into my Calyrex of my own. How fast are you? You are super fast. You're a bit too fast. But I, sac I ended up sacrificing our... Our what's it called? I ended up sacrificing our boy here. We got three turns left of Trick Room. Honestly, Trick Room might have not been a play. I think from here, we just go into a Heat Wave. And you might Thrasilize yourself, so I'm just going to go into Close Combat with a dump on you. I don't really want the Speed Boost. So let's see how this one plays out here. Trick Room might be biting us. It might be biting us. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. They just got a bunch of Pokemon to counteract the Trick Room. We're going to end up seeing a Terra, probably from Incineroar, going into Grass, most likely. Now you're going to go Calyrex here. So Calyrex gets a Terra. He's going to go into a straight Fairy Terra. He's looking just to go for a Draining Kiss and take out my Quackle Ball. But what he doesn't know is my Quackle Ball is Focus Ash. Which is good news. And he ends up just party shotting into the Quackle Ball, which kind of sucks, man. I want to just close combat, drop that thing. All right. All right, I see you. Let's see who they end up going into, because we do have a heat wave flying across the board. 
you're gonna go into Ndidi. So Ndidi helps him out tremendously. Considering this close combat's going to do like negative six damage, Heat Wave's gonna fly. Actually, do nice damage on the Calyrex. Really solid damage on the Calyrex. Close combat's gonna fly here and almost KO the Ndidi. That's some nice damage. My defense's gonna drop, but I mean, you're going for Draining Kiss, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna get back some HP here. So you leave my uh, you leave my armors on the field. And honestly, that's not bad because now I can freely just go into not your fairy Terra. I can freely go into expanding force, correct? Yeah. So now I'm just gonna go into expanding force, and I think we just double down the Calyrex just in case. I could go for Sword Dance if we think that Armour is just gonna pick up the KO on the Calyrex, but I think we just double down the Calyrex and we play this one safe here, just in case expanding force doesn't KO, right? And it does KO, so cool. I could have sword sands if I wanted to, but that was just a safety precaution. So my trick room call ends up working out fine for us. But where their misplay was that terror right there. That terror was terrible. Honestly, it was kind of good because you wanted to drain and kiss and get rid of my quackle ball. And you didn't know I had focus ash, but that just left my arm rouge out on the field ready to drop an expanded force. Now the last Pokemon comes out. It is going to be instant war. I can just protect with Quackle Ball and then just go for an Aqua Step next turn. Actually, I could just go for a close combat, which would work even better. But yeah, Quackle Ball doing great today. The Focus Ash is just working perfectly, but in all honesty, the Focus Ash is just where it's at. How many turns left in Trick Room? One. Yeah, we're just going to go for Scorching Sands. Do that to you, and then just protect Quackle Ball, just so we can make sure that we get off an Aqua Step. Nice little Quackle Ball protect. We love it. Quackle Ball is minus one, though. And he goes for a Fake Out in Terrain. I think that was just like, a, hey, you, you beat me. Have this game kind of play. <laughs> but Scorching Sand doing nice damage, even though that's not Stab. Not Stab, but it's super effective, doing great damage. Trick Room finally ends. We play that one nice. And then from here, I can just go into another Scorching Sands. And on top of that, a close combat to finish off this match. So GG's to our opponent. Wacko Ball kicking it. Kicking it out here. Going crazy. Going 2 0. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look for a perfect record. Who would have thought we would be sitting here in a third and final match looking for a perfect record with Quackleball? This Pokemon is going nuclear, picking up big time KOs, doing a lot of damage, and more importantly, getting us wins. But we're going up against another meta team here in match number three. Terrapagos, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Urshfu, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. So this team just screams out meta, and it kind of seems like they want to fake out turn one and really just like set up this Terrapagos. And I mean, we could go Quackleball, we could go Ndidi just to set that Psychic Terrain, and maybe just start following me boosting. To get Quackleball going. And that's something I do like. I like going in DD here. I like having Quackleball. We can bring Calyrex in the back end. And last but not least, Rock Ogre Pond could be the call. Little bit of Rock Ogre Pond. Not bad for us. Not bad for us. I like it. Or do I just go Armors or Tornadus? No, we're going to go Rock Ogre Pond. We already have our support Pokemon with DD. But something I, that I was thinking of. I don't want them to go into a fake out user such as Real Boom or Incineroar and Trap Ghost and then Terrasalize Trap Ghost, get rid of the terrain and be able to fake out. That would be a little bit of an issue for us, but I think that's a stretch. I think that's a stretch for me to say, right? I guess we'll see who they end up leading. Trap Ghost Incineroar. See? See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I don't like. This this is what I don't like. This is... I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I could go for Follow Me. I could go for Aqua Step. Um... Huh, I have to figure out a way to get rid of this Terror Shell, but... Do I just go for... I mean, you're probably gonna go for... If you're not gonna Terrasalize Trap Ghost, you're probably just gonna go for a... What's it called? You're probably just gonna go for a... What's it called? What is it? Even called? I can't even think of it. A knockoff here. So, I mean, Follow Me isn't a bad play. And I'm still gonna go for Follow Me here. I'm gonna go for Follow Me, and I'm gonna go for Aqua Step. I could honestly go for Sword Sands here. Sword Sands not bad. I'm gonna go for Sword Sands with this follow me. He withdraws the Cinder. Okay, cool. Good call for me to go for Sword Sands. So you can go for Calm Mind. I'm gonna go for Sword Sands. He's gonna go into Roll Boom, change up the terrain. Um, I have Steel Terror, which is honestly pretty good. And Trap goes Protect. So this is a great Sword Sands. This is a great Sword Sands turn. This is a beautiful Sword Sands turn. He's probably gonna go back into Incineroar next turn. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here, he probably goes back into Incineroar. I might have to go for another Sword Dance, which I might just do. 
That's exactly what I'm gonna do. George Dance follow me again. You go back into Incineroar just to intimidate me again and get off the got next turn. Or at least gonna be plus two. Which all strap goes, see? It's a fine turn for me. Fine turn for me. Go back into Incineroar. Incineroar comes out here. You could fake out my Quackle Ball here. Could be an option, but I'm hoping you just maybe try to go for a Grassy Glide. And cool. Yeah, we're gonna go for Halloween and get off another Sword Dance. So I will not allow you to do this to my Quackle Ball. I will not allow you. Quackle Ball's been through too much today. He's picking up wins. He's all about this. And he's just gonna end up taunting Indeedee, which is okay. I mean, I could protect Quackle Ball, swap Indeedee this turn. <clears throat> Into Rock Ogre Pond? Or do I go? Yeah, let's go Rock Ogre Pond. And then just protect you. So we get the swap. We have terrain control back on our feet if we want to go into it again. Um, I could Terra Steel, which is okay. I'd rather just protect Quackle Ball at this point. And he's going to go for the fake out in that slot. Cool. So Incineroar stays on the field. It didn't swap. That's really what we wanted here. And let's see what Rillaboom's gonna do here. Double down? Oh, you doubling down. Oh, you doubling down. You really wanna KO this Quackle Ball. Look at it, just dancing in your face. It's just dancing in your face. So I could go for another follow me here. I could just go for an Ivy Cudgel, which wouldn't be bad. I know I outspeed at this point, but I think I honestly just go here, pair of steel, and try to just close combat this Rillaboom down. Pair of steel's not bad. I think we just attack here. I think we just attack. It's time to get after it. We're sitting plus two. You might hard swap the Incineroar. That is definitely a possibility. But who are you going to go into? Trapagos? Or your fourth and final? And either way, Ivy because it should do a nice chunk of damage. I wish I did have a speed boost on Quackle Ball. So I kind of wish I went for Aqua Step. But we are... Maybe I should just went for Follow Me instead of Ivy Kajo. That's what I should have done. So I didn't have to waste my Terra. Yeah, I should have I should have went for Follow Me there. I should've went for Follow Me, and you're just gonna go and Trap Ghost, which is, I mean, that's fine. That's fine, I do Terrasalize, which is kinda scary because you most likely outspeed me, and you can really get after me. But I should still have my Focus Sash, actually, I don't know. You might be going for Grass God in this slot. Let's see, but if I get rid of Roll Boom, that'd be pretty gnarly. That'd be pretty gnarly. He's gonna go for Grass God. Yeah, I should've just went for Follow Me. I should've just went for Follow Me. Ivy Cudgel is going to take off Terror Shell. Um, get the Bop you. Do a little bit of damage. Close Combat should KO Roll Boom with plus two. It's Stab. Yeah, it gets rid of you, no problem. So we get rid of you. My defense drops, which is a slight issue because if Trap Ghost can outspeed me, then we're sitting at a big time problem kind of play, right? If Trap Ghost outspeeds me, we are sitting in a terrible position. That's my only issue here. I mean, you could go into Incineroar, which I think you're going to do. And if you do go into Incineroar, I think we just hard swap into Indeedee, correct? And just take terrain for the rest of the match. And stop fake outs. Yeah, I should have went to follow me last turn. Follow me would have been so nice. It would have been so nice because one, we didn't have to Terrasalize. And two, we would have still had a Focus Ash. This Focus Ash has been top tier. This, this Focus Ash has been through a lot today. It has just been lighting it up. Love this Focus Ash. Now, I was thinking of who we should go into. I think he goes into Incineroar and then hard swaps Incineroar, which would be a smart play. But if he goes Incineroar, I think I'm pretty much forced to go into Indeedee. And yeah, out comes Incineroar. I'm still plus two, which is really nice for me. Really, really nice for me. So again, I'm going to say this now, but I'm not going to make the hard read. I'm going to make the simple play. I think he's swapping Incineroar right off the rip. I really do. So I'm just going to go into Indeedee. I'm going to go into... Do I protect? Do I aqua step here? What's your speed at? Do we think you outspeed trap goes? No, I don't think you do. I don't think you do, but I'm still gonna attack here. I'm still gonna go for this close combat into trap goes. I'm still gonna do this. I like having Calyrex in the back end, so I, I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna take a risk here. I wish I aqua stepped earlier. I really do. Just having that speed boost is so massive. Now let's swap to Ogi. The Oga Pond. Get back here, little buddy. We're gonna go into Ndidi. Get this train out here for the rest of the match. You don't have Roboom anymore. 
And we're gonna hope you're gonna fake fick out here. And not terrestrialize him. You are, yeah. We're gonna say bye-bye to Quackle Ball. Here. Tough full plays for us. And they didn't swap in Sinnoh anymore, so hopefully they're gonna fake out. We're gonna say bye bye to Quacks. Quack Vol is a dead duck. For the first time in today's video. Still, I got some value out of him. I was able to get rid of. Oh, you got to take out that terrain, so you can go for fake out regardless. Yeah, that was smart. That was smart. Quack Vol is a goner. Quack Vol is a goner. Try to start some taking him out. Big time plays from him. And did we outspeed him? I think we did. I think we did this. So that was just smart plays on them. That was just smart plays on them. So Quackle Ball going. I'll take that value out of Quackle Ball. Got off some big time damage. Took out Roll Boom. What more can you ask from this stuff? So now I got a little speed cooking. Um, I could just spam follow me and go into Astro Barrage at this point if I wanted to. Or I could go back into Ogre Pond. Hmm. Could go for Nash Plot. Follow me Nash Plot. I'm actually digging that. I mean, Calyrex should be able to eat up a Terra Star Storm, let's be honest here. Or I could just go Helping Hand here. Yeah, we're gonna go follow me. We're gonna go for Nasty Pot. We have to set up here. We have to set up here. So we might lose our Indeedee. If we don't lose our Indeedee, that's big time. That'd be big time. So we go follow me. You're probably going for knockoff here, Terra Star Storm, right? Makes the most sense. I'm going for an ass spot. I'm looking just to boost this thing like crazy. I'm looking to boost this thing. Calm mind comes out here. Okay. That's actually not bad for us. Actually, I kind of want Indeedee to die out here. I kind of want Indeedee to die out here. He goes for a snarl. And Calyrex dodges. That is massive because now I can just go helping hand. Right? I, I gotta go helping hand. I gotta go helping hand. As much as I, mm, I, as much as I want Rock Ogre Pond out here, I mean, I gotta go Helping Hand. And I gotta go Astro Barrage. Actually, no, I can't go Astro Barrage. This is tough news. Let's go for Draining Kiss here. Like, they deal some damage on the Incineroar. This thing's a problem. Rap goes scaring me, man. Helping Hand, Draining Kiss, let's do it. Let's do it. How much damage are we gonna do here? How much damage are we doing? Oh man, not nearly enough. Yeah, this one's over. We'll take this one on the chin. Just perfect typings up, up against Calyrex right now. Not that normal typing. I totally forgot that this thing is technically a normal typing. The Snarl is just gonna pretty much wrap everything up. Can't really do too much up against this thing. Um, I could maybe see how much damage you could do Astro Barrage to Incineroar. Is that gonna do any more than Draining Kiss? It's not very effective, but it's stab and the damage is high. Let's see. Let's see. I guess we'll give it a try. I guess we'll give it a try. Flash of Barrage flies here. Can it KO in Cinnamore? No, it did about the same. Maybe a little less. The Terra Star Storm's just going to finish this off. That's plus two. That is plus two. So, honestly, just a nice little normal typing. Doing us dirty. Didn't really have much to counter that. Maybe I should have went Draining Kiss into that slot. But Draining Kiss, again, not doing too much unless we have that Terra Boost, right? It's all good. It's all good. I'll still take a 2-1 winning record all day with Quackle Ball. I'll take it all day with Quackle Ball. Quackle Ball actually killed it. Definitely the MVP of, of this video. But we stand no chance up against this trap ghost. Unless I get like a crit. But still at that point, you can go into Flare Blitz. So you can really deal some damage to me. So I'm just going to run this one. I don't think we're one shot in the trap ghost regardless. But GG to our opponent. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Quackwavall in Regulation G. Definitely outperformed what I thought it was going to do. Dominated in match number one and in match number two. Then in match number three, obviously, we just had a good opponent. They made some good plays, killed us with Terrapagos. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.